We want to build a culture of safety, and we don't want people to be hurt. But it turns out that these near misses and close calls, which are at the bottom of the pyramid, they are the breadcrumbs. They're the clues, because for every roughly 600 of those, 30 result in property damage, 10 are serious injuries, one person can die. So we need to respond in this close call zone before it becomes more serious. Well, employees have to be willing to come forward and say, oh, I think something just happened. That was close. A fraction of an inch, a fraction of a second was the difference between whew, that was lucky and uh-oh, now we've got some now we got some problems. So one of the best ways to get employees to feel comfortable doing that is for the senior management and the supervisors to feel comfortable in their skin talking about the kinds of things that they've been involved in that happened where it was a close call or a near miss. And when they see that it's okay to talk about things where you made a mistake and you broke something or, or, or it almost broke, and you talk about it as a warning that everybody knows, number one, you don't want to do this, and number two, I'm as fallible as everyone else. And number three, it's an opportunity then to look at your chemical hygiene plan, at your lab safety manual, and see whether we need to make a change. We want to get employees committed, and we want to have this through appealing to a sense of having a safe place to work, where it matters, where your health and safety matters, and we care about that. One of the best ways to address this is right up front in that new employee safety orientation delivered by the immediate supervisor. Imagine that Jim goes to HR and he gets a safety orientation. He goes to the EHS department, he gets a safety orientation. And he walks into the lab and he's greeted by his immediate supervisor who says, Jim, I'm so glad you're here. There are 600 samples over there that need to be analyzed by Friday. We've got to get that done. If you need to stay late and work, it's okay. And I have this safety checklist I want to go over with you, but it's going to have to wait. We've got to get that done or we're in trouble. And what has the supervisor just done? He has, she has taken the legs right out from what everybody else has said and made it clear, that's nice, that's not what matters here. What matters here is making widgets, not your health and safety. 